Right, continuing with our series of lessons and tutorials, uh, here is something I made a while ago, which is basically a ruined church, which is sort of made up to be like a pop-up shop, it hasn't got that much in, so it's a work in progress. Now, this being a building, it can be difficult to arrange things inside. So if I want to put a sofa in there and rotate it to the right angle, maybe resize it, put it in the right place, doing it with all these columns in the way and walls is not easy. So there is a way around this, which are called section cuts. And this is a very good and useful tool to use. Um, even on simple models where, and because this is a complex model, um, the spinning beach ball of death has hit me. Anyhow, how to you? what are section cuts? Section cuts are ways of seeing through an object. So it's like putting a line through an object. So if we've got something here, we put a section cut through there. It says everything up until here will disappear or everything up until here will disappear because obviously you can see this better. So I'm going to add a section cut to just take these columns right down. Let's get rid of this high level fuss. So tools. There are many of them. Section plane is what we need. And you get this little um, shape. Don't worry about size. What you're looking for is saying this surface. Now, if we say the table, it's the surface up there. If we say the floor, it's this surface down there. So I'm going to say, if I zoom in, I'm going to choose the table. Click on that, and you'll see that we have just cut everything above that table. That's a bit too low, really, when you think about it. So take the Move tool, select side, and you see I can move up. I can see how much I can cut right down so there's nothing left or move up until just above the tables there. So now when I look at it, that's going to be easy to position over anything. There's mirrors and bits. Um, but be in mind, we've just cut this guy's head off because it literally is everything above this line. Now if I go into 3D Warehouse and see if I can find something that will definitely not work. Um, bookshelves are quite good. Bookshelf, that looks like a tall one. And click OK. And the kind of bookshelf here does not matter at all. And I'm going to place it uh, on the floor. So there we have it. Now, we turn around, you'll see that we have cut the model in. So even though we've just placed it, because it is taller, in the section plane, or the section plane is going through it, the top half has been cut. But and again, if we with the move command, move that, to, don't just that one thing, move command, move the section plane up and down, you can see the bookcase is being cut in different ways. So that is very easy. Now, you obviously won't need the section plane cut all the, so on all the time cutting your model. Um, Quintessentially, with a section plane, you can see how the walls are thin. Um, you can actually use this to paint the inside of the walls if you like. Um, I'll do it now, just so I can show. I like this kind of inside of the walls. There. So the inside of this church is pink. No one will ever see that unless um, you use section planes. Anyhow, so the section planes are there. I can say view section planes and turn it off which means the cut is still there, the plane is still there, but we can't see the plane. This is useful if we want to render the item for using in um, poster, for example. So exporting it for use. Or maybe if we want to use screenshots, that's quite useful. But I only leave such planes on because I like to see where they are. We can say, view section cuts. Turn that off. And we are back onto here. So no matter what section cuts you've got on originally, and we've just seen, you can see the pink now. Uh, obviously there's a problem in the model. Um, yeah, so we can go between them, section cuts on, section cuts off. However, if you've got a very complex building, you might 
want to have more than one section cut. So what you need to be able to do is turn this on and off, not hide it. So the view part only shows and hides, it doesn't turn things on and off. If I select the section plane, right click, I can do different things. So click activate or turn it off and click again, activate, turns it on. So that's how you turn it on and off. You can also click reverse. So what we've got here is everything above that line is shown and everything below is cut. You might have that for a house where, um, say you've got a building where you want to see above and below an item. So I'm going to reverse this. Now, sometimes it can be difficult to get hold of things in session cuts. Um, try to right click on this. So there we are. So I'm going to say reverse. So it's now the right kind of cut for me. And um, activate. So it's turned off. I'm going to add another section cut. So tools, section plane. And I'm going to cut it right through this column here. So it's going right way right across. And as before, I can move this. Sorry, I moved the wrong one. You can still move section planes if they're not activated. So select this one, move. There we have it. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it like that because that's kind of nice like that. You can see some detail. So that one's done. I can obviously beach ball death hits again. Okay, so I can right click on my section plane. So we get the end part there and reverse it. So we've done that. I can right click on a different one and say activate cut. So we can't have two cuts at the same time. We can flip between them. So that's one view. And let's try and get this one. It can be tricky. There we are. And activate. We can flip between, we can reverse and bits. We have a maze we like. And of course, we can just go and hide the tension cuts, hide the planes, and we can forget about them. So you can have as many planes as you like and just choose whichever one you have. That's really useful because if you have camera angle isometric, or camera angle this one, say you've got, um, no, we've got one, two, three, four, five columns here, you can have a section cut at each of the columns, and then without rotating around anything, we can just slice, 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 and export the images or memoir, which is great for rendering images. So that is how you do section planes and section cuts, really useful tool, that is, you, know, you can't do without it when you're doing complex items, especially when you put a roof on. Because if this church had a roof, you would need a section cut just to see the inside.